friends, welcome back to Juju's Crafting and Quilts. This is Juju's handyman husband, Big Ben. I get to have fun hosting this episode with you guys. In this video, you're coming along for a ride through an interior facelift of our very own travel trailer that we began living in full time in March of 2018. The video you're seeing now is Jules giving a brief tour just after we moved in. I just wanted to give you some good contrast of before and after before you see the rest. We've already updated this room here, but that's a video for another time. Uh, as far as this project goes, we're looking at only updating the paint colors in the main room of the trailer, the, the living room, dining room, kitchen. So without further ado, let's get started. Hope you enjoy. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this standard factory theme of browns and tans and got some white here and we're going to transform it into some more brilliant colors that my wife has so exquisitely picked out. <laughs> Good morning, everybody. This is day two of our travel trailer wall and cabinet restoration. No, just upgrade to our paint, our new paint. As you can see, we made a lot of headway yesterday, um, taking most of the door faces off, um, actual doors, moving everything into workroom. Removed the entire couch, and there's our lawn chairs there from outside. Removed all the ceiling fixtures best we could without sacrificing the lights and, and all the vent covers so we can get all the way up to where we need to go with the paint. We're gonna take the rest of these doors off and get everything sanded down including that door, uh, the lentil here, and then we're gonna sand all the cabinet faces so that we can apply the water-based kills primer and then put our coats of paint on. Probably gonna start with the white because we have that's the most we have to do. trailer facelift spruce up however you want to call it we're repainting so what we did last night is we went through and first off we covered the floor with paper and tape that we needed to because we're going to be rolling out the ceiling today um, but we also went through and we started priming everything that we're going to be painting that needs to be primed. Walls don't need to be primed because they're pretty porous already and it's a type of wallpaper that will set paint without primer. Remove the fridge from its little hole back there and in doing so we actually tore some of the vinyl flooring so we get to repair that after this project. All right, coming to you from day four. We actually did this pretty late today because we started really early and we didn't want to get paint on any of the equipment. So we went and did pictures instead of doing video. What you're seeing is we got the white done, all the white done, including some touch-up. We even went in and got some 
a couple of coats of the light blue and the dark grayish blue on the booth and the upright cabinetry. We really had a good time today. And now that we've finished, I would love to share with you our completed projects.